Our first lock visit of our new tour of Wales. We've come to B&D Jones Brothers, described by many as the best of the best. These gentlemen won the Welsh national averages for years on the trot. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Thanks very much for letting me see the pigeons today, mate. No problem. How long have you been in the sport? Uh, since 1950, we started to race 54. Yeah, what was your circumstances of starting up? Schoolboys. School. We, we had them a few years before then as schoolboys, like, and when we started to work like, uh, and could afford it, we started to race. Like. Yeah. What's your best performances? Oh, best individual performances, first and second, combined, third so. Yeah. Um, 1980. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, we won three Osman Cups. We won the uh, Cogger Bondi four times, three times uh, 85, and then we won it 94, five, uh, three, four, and five. Yes, fantastic performance. That, that, that must be a record. Nobody else had done uh, Cogger Bondi three years on the trot. No, absolutely brilliant. It's a nice pigeon, David. What's this one? This is Jagger Cock. He was second North Northampton as a young bird. And he came uh, with three birds uh, later on in life. When he, he was first, second, and third in the club, and he was the middle pigeon. And they were also 15th, 16th, and 17th in the Fed. He then went on and he went into the New Pitts Lego race and he topped in the Fed and first national and first combine. Uh, 4,700 pigeons. He was put back to Thurzo that uh, same year and was fifth, fifth in the Thurzo race. The following year we started racing again but he received a peg in the eye and which I uh, stopped racing him and haven't raced him since. What strain is he in, David? He's basically a Vani. Uh, there is a touch of uh, Denny pigeon in him being down out of Belsey. Good morning, David. Good morning, Keith. What system do you race your pigeons? We race on a natural system. Uh, right throughout the year. Yeah. When do you pair them up? Normally pair up about the 14th of February, but if the weather's good and kind, if it's too cold, we leave it a week or two. The urlins and the stoppers are paired up then. The pigeons for the longer races are paired up in the middle of March. Yeah, what distance did you like racing your pigeons? Well, we try to race them right through the program basically, but the yeah. longer races are our main interest. Yeah. How many pairs do you keep? Well, a few more this year than usual. This year we there's about 40 pairs, well, 38 pairs of pigeon dew for racing. Yeah. How about feeding? What do you feed them? Well, we mix our own corn, basically beans from the farm, peas and maize, wheat and barley, different types, different uh, requirements. Yeah, where would you find your best pigeons, your ends or your cocks? Well, not, not really any, because we've had ends fly very well for us and we've had cocks fly very well. Yeah. I would say that a good pigeon is a good pigeon with a head or Yeah, you fly all north road, do you? Fly the north road only, yeah. Yeah, got a fantastic record in the national. Well, we try to go along, you know, as it is. Yeah, that, that must be some record winning the averages three years on a trot. Well, I didn't think we'd do it, Mike, but uh, we did. It was uh, quite something when we won it twice on the trot. When it came up the third day, I think we were very fortunate. Yeah, congratulations, a fantastic performance. These are a few of the partners, old cocks, as you're unpaired. It's a nice red cock. David, what's this one? This is a red cock. He pretty consistent as a young bird. He's yearling, he was a bit slow. But then as a two-year-old, he came into form. He was sixth club at Newbridge Lego. And then we went back into Thurzo. And he was first club, first fed, first section in the National and Second National. Fantastic. What, what then, fame is he? This is a Van E. He went back two years later to Thurso because the year in between there was no Thurso race when he was uh, <coughs> second club and seventh open and um, he was tenth or twelfth uh, in the National. Fantastic. And the next year, this last year, came at half past ten in the night in the dark when he was uh, fourth club. What's his best nest condition? Or sitting, either sitting ten days or sitting desk with a big youngster as well. Quality pigeon, mate, lovely. 
This is a younger partner, Andrew. Good morning, Andrew. Morning, kids. How big is your loft? Uh, it's 38 by 12, with a four foot uh, corridor and cardins. Big open door trapping. Open door trapping, we find it easier. Yeah, I know it's used with wood desk boxes in spite of being natural. Yeah, we find it better to use wood wood boxes for space for the pigeons when pairing up and give them more room yeah. in the day. I, I know it's you like the loft scraper, you don't use deep litter at all. No, we prefer to clean up at least twice a day, during the summer and once in the winter. Yeah. We find it How many pigeons you keep then, Brian? Uh, 90% bunnies. Uh, we bought them, bought the first lot in 75 from Johnny Marsarella. We bought four originally. They turned out to be um, three, co uh, three cocks. So we went back up then and we bought another end. We also bought at the same time a pair of uh, workmen. The bunnies come so good that we didn't bother. Uh, unfortunately with the workmen, so we let them die out, like, but the vannies uh, come tremendous with us. We've also had a mock vanny himself, uh, and they've come all right. But my, most of the vannies are from Marsarellas. Yeah, what distances are they good at then? From, uh, they'll come from Little to Berwick. Right way through? Uh, right through, yeah. This nice pigeon, what's this one? It's a uh, cheddar white flighted cock. He scored all the way through uh, his career really as a young bird, year in and two year old. Uh, this year he was 11th uh, national south section. Uh, last year he was in Lerick as well, where he was about 34th section. Uh, 34th open, sorry. Yeah. What strain is he? He is a Vani, director of a Vani cock that I bought up in Blackpool. And and I had from Marsarellas. Yeah. How many stock birds do you keep in? At the moment we've got about approximately 28 pairs of stock birds. Yeah. But there are some there which are a bit older and we've tried to work it out because we always got younger pigeons coming up the other way. They generally paired up the same time as the earnings, about the 14th of February. This year, because we had problems with all and lost some ends, we've had to pair them up earlier to bring their ends Yeah, it's only about the same age as you. You and 